Alright, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be comparing the Annihilator and the Smasher side by side to find out which tank in tier 7 is definitely the most OP and what you guys should definitely go for. Now in terms of statistics, the Annihilator itself is a bit higher in all the statistics in terms of the player base and my own. But at least for me personally, I think the uh, Smasher is a lot more fun. But the Annihilator is definitely, I think, a bit of a stronger tank. But the Smasher is not far behind. Now I'm going to be explaining why. Firstly, the gun. The gun on the Smasher is definitely a lot more fun, at least in my opinion. Because of uh, simply the Alpha and the HE Alpha. The Annihilator has three shots in, a, in its barrel, which means you have to try and hit all three, especially far away. And if an enemy is moving and they are far away, it's going to be very, very hard to hit all three. Sometimes you're going to hit one, sometimes you're only going to hit two out of three shots. And this is going to be a big pain in the bum. But apart from that, the gun on the Annihilator is very, very good. The, uh, the aim time and the reload speed is much better. And the gun is very, very comfortable on the Annihilator. While the Smasher, of course, again has its HEs. Because tier 7, 6 and 8 are full of tanks that are low in terms of armor. And so smashing people for 1000 HP per shot is just insane. And I think it's just more fun, you know. The, uh, the Annihilator is uh, is probably the stronger tank in terms of the gun overall but in terms of just fun gameplay the smasher has no equal because it just rips you apart a thousand damage into someone's side or pretty much smacking a tier 7 or 6 tank into the face and one shotting it is just pure fun i know this sounds horrible because the tanks are op but still come on everyone wants to try it out once in a while and uh, the smasher itself is pretty much a kv2 that is on steroids just think about it buffed up armor buffed up gun buffed up mobility and boom you have the smasher it's literally a kv2 that injects like 10 steroids a day it's crazy it's crazy now in terms of armor again i think the annihilator is going to be better just look at the turret the turret is very very strong in terms of armor and the upper part of the hull is also prone to ricochets ricochets sorry while the smasher uh, does tend to be a lot more easy to penetrate just because of the form itself is just uh, similar to that of the kv2 so penning it is no real problem However, the KV-2, not the KV-2, sorry, the Smasher will occasionally bounce a few shells as well, don't get me wrong. The armor isn't too great, but it's not like paper thin either. You will get a few bounces, especially against tier 6s occasionally. However, you can't really rely on the armor too much. However, the Annihilator, if you go haul down, you can reliably use the turret to actually block shells from even tier 8 tanks, which is something the Smasher cannot really do. Now, in terms of mobility, they are quite equal. They're not super fast. They're not super slow. They're just in between. They're good enough to get into places. However, the Annihilator just feels a bit faster. And especially with the new consumable, I think it's just a lot more... Uh, you know more around tank compared to the smasher but still if i really want to have some fun sometime i would definitely go for the smasher just because of the he ability and the one shot for 640 alpha i'm sorry nothing is going to be coming close to that so in terms of gameplay i still think the smasher is better but the annihilator overall is just a stronger tank if you want to grind for stats for example if you're trying to get your win rate up two of these in a platoon obviously i would not recommend this but if you really 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 want to get your win rate up you can get two of these in a platoon and go ahead and uh, increase your win rate obviously it won't be uh, authentic but i'm just saying possibilities you know i'm not endorsing any of this <laughs> So overall, I think the developers themselves also know that the Annihilator is a bit stronger, especially for the average player. That's why we haven't seen it come into crates or it's not being sold or it's not being put into the snow globes because the devs themselves simply know that the Annihilator overall has better stats than that of the Smasher. Now overall, I don't really want to complain about the tanks. I used to complain a lot before I got both of them. But then they are super fun, but then again, they really do break tier 7 because I feel really bad for tanks that I simply one shot that have a thousand HP and you can simply just one shot them. And it's not the most fun experience for newer players. 
And I don't really understand how the developers could have added the Annihilator into the game in the first place, especially after everyone was crying about the Smasher anyway. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. But then again, tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. So with that, happy is out, and I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.